The question, can we drink wine after dental implant procedure is a great question. And it can be interpreted a couple different ways. One being, can we drink wine right after the dental implant procedure on that day? We recommend not. We don't wanna drink wine the same day of the dental implant procedure because there's some pain medication that you might be on or you're still numb and we don't want to counteract uh, first off the pain medication, but we also don't want you to, to drink too much and be biting on your lip, biting on your tongue, uh, because you can't feel that and you can cause some more damage by clenching and grinding. Now the long-term question, can we drink wine long-term or is it going to stain our beautiful new white teeth? And this would be a game changer for me because I love to drink wine and we're gonna get to play around with a little bit of the wine and I'm gonna test this out for you today. To answer that question, we have to understand how our teeth stain. So if we think about when we drink coffee and tea growing up and we go to the dentist and they polish out our teeth and we walk out and they're white. And then as we age, we start drinking the wine, the coffee and tea, and they get a little discolored, maybe a little, little yellow. And we go back to the dentist and they polish them out and we walk out and we're like, oh, it's not, not white anymore. It's still a little yellow. And then they start talking about bleaching. Why is it that we need to bleach now that we're older and we didn't have to when we were younger? So as we age, our teeth actually get little cracks in them. And those little cracks are what take on the staining. And then we go to the dentist and we try to polish out our teeth again, but we can't get inside those little cracks that have now stained. So they recommend you to bleach your teeth. So when you put those, that gel on those trays and you wear those trays at night, that gel finds its way into those little cracks and bleaches your teeth. Now let's talk about our teeth after dental implants. There is a, many different materials that you could choose for your final teeth on dental implants, but today I'm gonna to talk about zirconia teeth. It's the strongest material and non-porous material. So could zirconia teeth take on staining? It's not going to absorb because it's non-porous, but could you get staining on the teeth? Absolutely. As we go through the day and we eat food and uh, we get plaque on our teeth, that plaque can absorb the staining. Now you go home at night, you brush your teeth, that plaque is all removed and you're fine. But if we don't brush our teeth, that plaque can turn into tartar and then you need to come in for a cleaning and we can clean it. But long-term, there's nothing that can get inside it unless you had a crack that the staining could take on. And if you had a crack, you would know it. We could sit here and talk about it all day, but I'm more of a hands-on person. We're gonna set up an experiment with some zirconia teeth, acrylic teeth, and a whole lot of wine. So this is what made me so excited about doing this video. I get to play with wine. And I made a lot of people really jealous today walking around with wine glasses and wine bottles. People wanted to come to my office all day long. But what I have set up here is I have some zirconia teeth and I'm gonna show you in the camera so you can see what they look like before a night of drinking. And then these are the acrylic teeth as well. And so what happens when we go out to drink uh, wine one night or we go out for drinking, we typically are having some wine and then we're having some water in between or we're just drinking wine all night. But to mimic the worst case scenario is we have a mouthful of wine all night long sitting on our brand new teeth. What's gonna happen? So what we're gonna do is we're going to set a, some zirconia teeth and some acrylic teeth in these wine glasses. And then I'm going to pour wine on top of the zirconia and on top of the acrylic. So you probably would have swallowed the wine by now, but maybe you're gargling it for a really, really long time. So what we're gonna do is let this sit for an hour or two, and then we'll come back and see how it turned out. Okay, the moment we've been waiting for. We've been waiting a while and it's been a whole night of wine tasting and we're ready to see what our teeth look like. So let's go ahead and try to pull out, oh, my hand's not gonna fit in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the acrylic teeth with this here. And let's take a look at what the teeth look like. So this is without scrubbing, without anything. We can look at the teeth. We see some 
staining going on on the crowns of the teeth. But not too bad, not on the front, maybe a little in the, in the gums. So let's go ahead and pull out the zirconia and we'll take a look at that. Move that over here. So without any scrubbing or anything on these, let's take a look. Okay, so this is without scrubbing at all. We've got just a tiny bit there in the teeth, but everything in the front looks really good. I don't see anything in the gums. So when you smile, you wouldn't see anything. Maybe a little bit there, the number eight, front tooth, and it goes right away. But that's just from sitting there. That's without taking a drink of water. So now let's go ahead and mimic us taking a drink of water. So we're gonna take this third wine glass and take a bottle of water and take a sip of water. Okay, so those are completely covered. And shake a little bit. Let's go ahead and take them out. So we're not gonna leave that in there very long. It's just gonna be like a sip of water. We're not gonna let it sit. Okay. So now these are the acrylic. So the acrylic still has a little bit in between the teeth and a little bit there on the crowns of the teeth as well. So now let's go ahead and just scrub just a little bit. So it is stained. It is stained, okay. So it's not, I didn't know for that long if it would go, it was about an hour it sat in there. So let's see. So that we're probably gonna have to polish up in the office here. Yeah, it looks stained on the inside as well. So let's go ahead and pull out the zirconia teeth. You know what, we'll drop the acrylic back in there while we're playing around with the zirconia teeth. So let's go ahead and take a look at these without scrubbing. Look at that, nothing on the crown. Not just maybe, maybe barely something on the crown of the tooth, but absolutely nothing in between the teeth. And we'll go ahead and just see if that little bit there. Yeah, there's no staining going on with the zirconia teeth. Everything back to its original state. All right, so we've been letting the acrylic teeth sit in the water while we were messing with the zirconia teeth. And what we're gonna do is I've actually got a toothbrush here as well. We're actually going to brush out the staining and see if that works. We'll get the crown of the tooth. Yeah, it seems to be, seems to be coming out pretty well. So we're even able to get the acrylic pretty good. Zirconia teeth didn't stain at all, and the acrylic teeth stained a little bit, but it seemed to brush right out. So when we get home and we, we got a little bit right there, but when we get home and brush our teeth, we're able to get most of it out. And if that plaque does turn into a little bit of a, a little bit of tartar, we're able to clean that in the office when you come in for your routine cleaning. So no reason to worry. I mean, the zirconia teeth is a lot better. You don't have to worry about the staining. The acrylic does get a little more buildup than the zirconia teeth, but still not, not too bad. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed putting it together. And I hope it puts your mind at ease knowing that after a dental implant procedure, you don't have to worry about going out at night and going for a wine tasting and destroying your teeth. Your teeth are still gonna look beautiful. And they're still gonna be as white as they were before that night started. And even though this is a cheap bottle of wine, I don't like wine to go to waste. So I'm gonna have a sip. That's not bad. I'm Nick Hanson. You know where you can find me.